Hello, everybody, and welcome back to... Oh, you shimmy sham. You can just go. It's okay. Wait. Voila. <laughs> Time. <laughs> Location. <laughs> it's even better. <laughs> Who could that be at this time of night? <laughs> yes, Edgeworth speaking. Angie, get up! It's an emergency! Uh, Larry? Do you know what time it is? It's emergency time! It's not Larry, it's Larice! Larice Donum! This is nothing more than a terrible nightmare. I'll just roll over and... Wait, don't hang up! It's an emergency! It's Nick! He... He... He took a really nasty spill! Well, it wouldn't be the first time, so... <laughs> I'm not joking! His life is in danger, dingus! What, what happened? Tell me! Talk about a guy with a bit with bad luck. He may already be dead. Anyway, you've got to come back. You're the only one that can help. My iris, my beautiful iris. She needs help. All right. I don't know what's going on, but I'll be there as soon as I can. Wherever there is. I'm not. I'm at the detention center. Please hurry. I don't do a good Edgeworth, but I will try better. Larry, Larry voice. Also, I called Gumshoe. Why did you pick up? <laughs> Edgeworth looks at his phone and is like, damn it. <laughs> uh, he, we, exited, we had to switch phones because his broke by. <laughs> <laughs> it's been one year since I left that country. I thought I wouldn't have to see him again for a while. Sounds like it won't be a pretty reunion, as if I expected anything to change. So yeah, we get to play this case as Edgeworth. Oh my gosh! <laughs> <laughs> it's weird! <laughs> February 8th, 2.19 p.m. Detention Center, a visitor's room. I really gotta get better at Edgeworth. That's Ugh. okay, I forgive you. Okay. Well, you're late, Edgy. What took you so long? I don't want to hear it. I chartered a private jet to come as quickly as I could. Well, you should have chartered a faster one. Shut up. <laughs> anyway, just listen. Something happened to Miss Elise, and Nick is Maya and Iris Bikini. Say something, Edgy! Before I came here, I stopped in at the hospital where Wright is. I believe I have a better understanding of the situation than you at this point. Porque? The murder victim was a, the picture book author, Miss Elise Donim. She was found by Wright and the head nun. The suspect is the temple's younger nun. Then later, while Wright was crossing the bridge at Broken, he fell into the river. The hospital says that he'll need at least two days of bed rest. Yes, that's right. You got it! But they arrested her, my sweet little Iris! And here I was, convinced he was the one the police had arrested. <laughs> he's, just, nice. he's just like, he coughed. You were arrested again, weren't you? Weren't you? <laughs> you did something, didn't What'd you? What'd you do? <laughs> no, you just answered, what'd, what'd you, you do? <laughs> However, I still don't understand what these two items are for. Scott from vs. World. It's Scott. What did he do? No, it's me, Scott. Yeah. What did you do? <laughs> what are you talking about? There are things Wright gave me t to me when I was leaving his room. This is the first. He said some nonsense about being able to see into people's hearts with this. It's a keyblade. And the other... <laughs> He couldn't possibly be asking what I think he is. Could he? I beg you, I was his trial starts tomorrow! Can... can def like, no. lawyers? Okay, here's the thing. In America, there isn't necessarily the same kind of specialization per se. I say the words per se because... My dad, he worked as a prosecutor for years, but he was employed through the city. But because he's still a licensed lawyer, he could have opened a defense practice if he wanted to. Mm. The thing is, is that here in America, it's just getting clients is the issue. Mm. Just since you need a reputation as a good attorney and yada, yada, you, yada. Yeah, and so I do, uh, I so. look at keywords for like various different industries. And one of the ones we get a lot are attorneys. And attorneys, a lot of the law practice websites that I find are people like having different specializations mm -hmm. like here's our firm we can do all this stuff we need clients <laughs> so like just as an example my father like I said he worked as a prosecutor and as a prosecutor yada 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 but if let's say 
I was sent to jail, he could still represent me as my defense lawyer. Mm. The downside is just he doesn't outright have any specialization in any one type of defense, if you know what I mean. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay, that makes Cause, sense. Because, spe- you know, there's like business law, there's personal law. There's yeah. like personal injury, there's general, there can be wrongful uh, wrongful death attorneys. Holy shit. Uh, there's fall and accident attorneys. There's dog bite attorneys. I mean, because like, dog, what the fuck? My dad has even stated one of the biggest problems he has with like private defense attorneys when he was still a prosecutor with the city was there was one lawyer he hated in particular, and he really wished he could, you know, offer a better sentence to the, you know, people that were on case. Like, if you fire this lawyer, we'll give you a better deal, but that's obviously illegal. Mm-hmm. But because this lawyer was constantly bringing up. It's like, well, this co- case was handled like this here, even though it's like that's a different state, that's a different statute, etc. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It wasn't actually relevant to what at hand. I just kind of wanted to share that funny story because it makes me giggle. Yeah. Uh, but, take away from that. Uh, please look and try that free consultation that attorneys always have and make sure that they are a good attorney for you. Ding. Sparkle, sparkle. <laughs> However, <laughs> I want s- you to put the shittiest JPEG to that on there. Ding. <laughs> I should mention, though, the fact that this legal system has badges to identify what, you know, you are, that would effectively be like a police officer handing you his badge, and so so this is, this is borderline, you know, fraud or, you know, not, not fraud. This is, this would be illegal in this system. But let's face it, I've screamed at enough people for doing things that should be illegal in this game that honestly, this doesn't even blip on the radar. And for fun, I'll just send you this picture later, but this is what a prosecutor's badge looks like. Yeah. They're so fancy. They're fancy. Yeah, this this is This is plot law. Oh, so it's got a nice little red light there. Perfect for the prostitutor's badge. I mean, (laughs) if you're come (laughs) shit. Well. High five. (laughs) We've derailed. Why did you touch that foot? Uh, because it sucked. <laughs> We've derailed you know, so much. Let's get back to the case at hand. I'm so shall sorry. We? Dude, <laughs> Good, Luke, but... read the. No, just... Nick, out of the picture, you're all I got left. You're the only one that can represent her. Elsa, you're probably the only one the fans would tolerate. What did you just say? Uh, you know, represent, defend. That's what we're expecting. Why do you think I called you anyway? I'm a prosecutor, Larry. A prosecutor. Yeah, Gumshoe told me all about it. Ugh. Do you understand what I'm saying? A prosecutor is a lawyer who... Don't talk to me like I'm a kid. I graduated from junior high, you know? Also, I played your game. I played your game. It sucked, but I know you can handle this. I feel insulted. I had one shining moment of glory. Two. Well, if it two. sucks, then it, it matches Edgeworth. Son of a gun. I have no pride left. <laughs> I have nothing. Don't, don't worry about it. I promise I won't tell. But I... I mean, I hear a paper bag. <laughs> <laughs> you... Well, Kendall, you know all about paper badges. I do. <laughs> I'm sure we've mentioned this, yes, but it's, it's a D&D, it's a reference to a Pokemon D&D campaign. Well, it's not important. I mean, I heard a paper badge is no problem filling the entire quit before. How could this country's judicial system have fallen into such decay? Clearly, you have not played any of the sequels. This shouldn't surprise you. They haven't happened yet. Please, Eddie. That's in the future. <laughs> at least listen to her. Well, actually, no. The games were released prior to this year, so it's technically a future Seven past. Seven years. <laughs> At least listen to her. Listen to Iris' side of the story. So Wright wasn't joking when he gave me this badge, after all. Well, even if he was, his jokes usually aren't very good. <sighs> Thank you for coming. My name is Iris. Edgeworth. Miles Edgeworth. Are you James Bond? <laughs> you beat me to it, honey. In some countries, people would consider me that. Oh, okay. I don't know if I can be of any help, but I will at least hear what you have to say about the murder. Um, Mr. Wright, how is he? Mr. Loris said that he, that he might even die. Fortunately, he will be fine. Larry, you moron! How could you say something like that? <laughs> Smack! <laughs> 
He was badly bruised when he hit the water, but otherwise he's unharmed. Thank goodness. But he's caught some kind of nasty cold. A cold? He's running a high fever and is drifting in and out of consciousness. I must be imagining things. This woman. I feel like I've met her before. Remember? <laughs> Five years ago! <laughs> Pardon me, Iris. I would like to ask you something, if you don't mind. I have the distinct feeling you and I have met before. It must be your imagination, Mr. Edgeworth. After all, I hardly ever leave Hazakura Temple. Hazakura Temple? What's that? It's a place where those who wish to boost their spiritual power come to train. You need to undergo some very difficult training to release your inner spiritual power. Spiritual power? Did you go to that temple for that reason as well? No, I don't have any spiritual powers. I don't need them. In that case, what are you doing at the temple then? I... I've committed some sins. Sins that I need to pay for. That's why I'm there. And why I continue to train. To purify my soul. Okay. <laughs> I want to ask you about last night. The night of the crime. Alright. I helped to clean up after dinner, and then went back to my room at about 8 o'clock. Later, I left my room to ring the lights out bell at 10. Bell? We ring it at the same time each night. I see. And then? And then... I was told to go to the training hall, but... I went back to my room and stayed there. Why didn't you go to the training hall like you were asked to? I, I was frightened. Frightened? So I just stayed in my room and meditated until the murder happened. There's more to her story. I just know it. Maybe I should dig a little deeper. Just dig a little deeper! <laughs> you were asked to go to the training hall on the night of the murder? Yes. However, you didn't go. Because you say you were frightened. What exactly were you so frightened of? <gasps> More woman? <laughs> oh, these are just two. <laughs> More though? <laughs> what, what in the world? Um, is there something wrong? I'm sorry, it's nothing. It looks like she's not aware of them herself. These must be what Wright was talking about. The psycho locks. <laughs> the psycho locks. <laughs> da, da, da. <laughs> I believe he said that I need to present this Magatama item to do something. <laughs> this is really weird. <laughs> so do you have any idea as to what really occurred that night? I think it was the result of the tremendous spiritual power that was unleashed. Spiritual power? Yes. Spiritual training has been a cause behind many great tragedies. This incident was just another example. Iris, I'm sorry, but I can't accept that. I'm a man of science. I don't believe in spiritual power. Yes, I understand. Most people don't. And I'm certain that the thing that killed the victim was a human. So please answer me this simple question. Were you the one who killed Elise Donim? No. I'm not the one who took her life. Hmm. Those psycho lock things aren't appearing. I suppose that means I can believe that she's not lying. Hmm. What's wrong? I can't believe what I'm thinking. <laughs> and here I just finished saying that I don't believe in spiritual power. I'm a liar. <laughs> My hypocrite. It appears that's about all that you can tell me. Thank you very much for listening to my story. I visited Rifen at the hospital before coming here. He asked me to take care of you. M me Yes. At the trial tomorrow, he asked me to defend you. Mister, I has that much faith in you, Mr. Edgeworth? Then I will gladly entrust my fate in your capable hands. But before that, I have one question. Yes? Do you know right? 
Uh, why would you ask that? Whenever you came up with in your our convers whatever you came up with in our conversation, he would act a little strange. Mr. Edgeworth, are you his friend? Friend? In a sense, yes. I don't have friends. It was five years ago. That's when I... That's when I... Deceived him. You deceived him? I heard that he was... In a lot of pain after what happened. I know what a weak person I am. That's why... That's why I thought it was best if he never saw me again. I wanted him to just forget about me. Without learning the truth. Well, if you ask me, Wright is still suffering. And until he learns the truth, I don't think he will ever be able to truly recover. Iris, it's not too late. You should go to him. Tell him the truth. Go to him. Go to him. Show him your love. <laughs> <laughs> I'll defend you, but only if you agree to that one condition. All right, Mr. Edgeworth. I promise. Very well. I'll do everything in my power to get you an acquittal. I can't believe I just said that. Ah, oh, shit. <laughs> Damn it. That's enough information gathering for now. I should head to the crime scene. Here we go! As Edgeworth! As Edgeworth! It's so weird! It's so weird! I'm so happy with this shit. It's great. It's great. Oh. Yeah. I was... I, wish, I know Jessie can't be here, but I wish she could be. I know. Because but at the same time, she would be swamped. Yeah. <laughs> fair. Fair, fair, fair. <coughs> so many things. So many things. Oh, Phoenix. I saw he was 26. I'm older yeah. than Nick. Yeah. Not quiet. That's an episode. Okay, uh, we will okay. see you guys next time. Edgeworth! Bye!